Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, my name's Josh and welcome back to Millennial Medicine. So yeah, it's been a hot minute since I posted. Um, so if you're new here, uh, hi, I'm Josh. I'm a fourth semester medical student going to the American University of the Caribbean in St. Martin. If you are a longtime subscriber um, and you followed me back when I used to have all my fish tanks, um, I currently don't have them right now. Um, unfortunately, medical school is kind of my life, so I had to put a hold on keeping a fish tank. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. So yeah, anyways guys, so I wanted to give you guys this short kind of like life update. Um, so I have been, I am now currently a fourth semester student here, which means I am nearing the end of my preclinical years in medical school. So traditionally at my school, at the American University of the Caribbean on St. Martin, you do five semesters on the island and I'm currently a fourth. So this next sem this semester I'm in right now um, is essentially my last semester of preclinicals. And then next semester I will be taking comp. So if you don't know, um, traditionally a lot of medical schools in the Caribbean, in order for the school to let you sit for step or comp or boards, you need to pass a comprehensive exam. So that's where I'm at right now, right? So I'm in my fourth semester and right now we're in the middle of July and in August I will take my last block three exam and then I'll take my last set of finals ever in medical school. So in my fifth semester when I am studying for comp, the only class I am going to be enrolled in is behavioral sciences and that's kind of like a different beast all on its own while studying for comp but it's not a traditional like class like I have been taking the past couple of semesters where you do three exams a semester plus a final. So what I want to do right now is I kind of just I want to give you guys a little update right so if you know already um, or if you don't know or if you've been following me like on TikTok right med school's hard. Like, I honestly, let me scoot down. I think I underestimated how hard medical school was going to be. Um, so, if you followed me from my, when I did MERP, um, when I got accepted into the school, I got accepted via a program called MERP, which is the Medical Education Readiness Program. And I did that from November 2020 until March 2021, and I started officially in school in May of 2021. So I had about a month gap, right? And I ended up doing my first semester remote um, because I had ACL surgery April 1st, 2021. So I did my first semester remote and then in August, I ended up moving down to the island. And since August, 2021, I have been living in St. Martin. Now, if you follow me for a while, you know that I am married. And unfortunately right now, we are having to live long, doing a long distance relationship. So what happened? It's kind of a bad luck, right? Um, we're getting ready to this pitch. We're in August, 2021, and we're getting ready to move down to the island. I'm, it's literally the Friday before my finals. We leave that next Friday. Uh, my husband's job calls him and says, hey, um, I know we had originally given you permission to work down on the island for the year, but unfortunately due to the contract restraints of his position, he was no longer allowed to move down to the island with me and live down here. So for almost the past year, we have been living long distance. And if you follow me on TikTok or if you follow me anywhere else like on Instagram, you know that like it's rough, right? So I never understood like how hard a long distance relationship actually is. It's honestly, I feel like it's a lot more effort than actually having an in-person relationship because we're always talking to each other, we're always communicating. And at the end of the day, where you can go home in a normal relationship and you can kiss your partner goodnight and go to sleep, we can't do that. And it really makes it rough. And so I'm now in my fourth semester of medical school. I'm getting ready to start my fifth, getting ready to essentially start studying for step and boards. And I'm ready to go home. I looked at my calendar the other day and I have 149 days until I go home. I already have my flight book, so I am excited. I'm ready to go home. I have enjoyed my time on this island. If you go back and you follow me on, if you go back and you follow me on my TikTok, which again, I will link down below, you can kind of see some of the adventures I have been having, right? But like, that's the thing. You only ever see the happy side sometimes of my TikToks, right? Because 
it's no one wants to see the sad stuff and that's the part that like especially i remember those first couple of months when we were having to live apart it it was rough like i really struggled with sleep i struggled with depression and i really struggled with whether or not i wanted to be out here and manage this long distance relationship now obviously I'm, I'm at where i'm at i'm getting ready to move on and going home here in december and it's just it's rough like it you said they say it gets easier when you're dealing with a long distance relationship but really it doesn't but so that's kind of where i'm at guys um i go home in december so my goal now is it's kind of getting to the point where like i don't have to study as much for my classes it's just gonna be studying for boards so i will have a set schedule and i will have a little bit more time to upload to youtube so my goal now is I'm gonna, I wanna walk through like how to apply to a Caribbean school, things you should look for in a Caribbean school, things you should avoid, kind of stuff like that. And that's kind of where I wanna take this uh, channel going forward. I wanna do some more studying with me videos. If you follow me on TikTok, I often get on live and I will do a study with me. And I've had some people request to upload some to YouTube. So that's where I'm at. So I just wanted to give you guys a short update on my life where I'm at right now and hopefully you guys will want to follow my journey to get my MD, right? So that's where I'm at, guys, and I really hope you enjoy the rest of my channel. My goal is to upload every Sunday. Um, obviously with school it may change, but I will let you guys know if I am able to upload. So with that, guys, I wanna thank you so much for following. As always, don't forget, forget to give this video a thumbs up, to like it, and then subscribe. Have a good day, and uh, I'll see you next Sunday.